Got some paper clips laying around? I'm sure you do. They've been in the office and our homes for more than a century, but these little metal binders of joy do much more than hold paper together. Today we'll show you some awesome ways to solve common problems using paper clips. Are you being watched? Well, who knows, but it's possible for webcams to become compromised. Protect yourself with a simple paper clip. Start by folding it and bend one half to form a mini chair, if you will. Wrap a piece of electrical tape over the front legs of your chair, and you're good to go. Just open your laptop and place the curled up paper clip over your webcam for a quick privacy cover that can be added and removed whenever you want. Valentine's Day is around the corner and love's in the air. Why not fashion a bookmark that shows them you care? Make heart-shaped bookmarks in seconds. Just turn your paper clip so the open end is at the top facing to the left. While holding down both ends firmly with each hand, carefully bend the ends towards the middle to form almost a pretzel shape. Once it looks like this, just flatten it out. It doesn't really resemble a heart until you add it to the paper. You can use it as a bookmark or avoid sealing Valentine's Day cards by not having to lick the envelope. It looks most like a heart if you use a red paper clip and don't push it all the way in when applying it to paper. Happy Valentine's Day. Next time you're in a bind and need a safety pin but don't have one, grab a paper clip and some needle nose pliers. Start by straightening one end of the paper clip, leaving just the smaller bend in place. Lay the clip flat and use pliers to make a 45 degree upward bend to form the clasp. Grab the clip below that clasp and make a 90 degree bend that's aligned with the long part of the clip. All right, now squeeze that bend downward to meet the long end. Grasp the clip from the center and wrap the metal around the pliers twice to form a spring. The long straight end becomes your needle that you'll tuck under the clasp. So if you pop a button, split a seam, or want to attach things to your bag, you'll know what to do in a pinch. Don't throw out your sweatshirt or bag because the zipper broke. If you have a zipper with a missing tab or two, feed a paperclip through the zipper hole and use it as a temporary pull tab so your zipper can still function. This is a pretty short and sweet fix to many problems similar to this. You can even use it on pants or any other kind of zipper. Most suitcases or luggage bags have two zippers so you can lock them together, but you can also secure them with a paperclip. Just run the open end of the clip through the hole. This isn't really meant to prevent theft, but it'll definitely make it more difficult for someone to get in and out of your bag quickly. If you have a bag without the connecting hole but want added protection, you can always use a paperclip to connect the two zipper tags together and keep your belongings more secure. If you ever need to work with tiny screws but can't find a small enough tool, don't worry, you've got paperclips standing by your side. Just grab a clip and a hammer. Straighten out the open end and use your hammer to flatten it out. You may need to remove the outer plastic covering if it has any. It'll probably take a dozen or so wax before it flattens out, and you can use a file to square off those ends, but it's that simple. Now you have a micro screwdriver that'll help you conquer those ridiculously small screws, and it's especially handy when repairing eyeglasses. You can keep cords organized with just a paper clip and a rubber band. Simply run the rubber band through the middle of any size paper clip. Now run it back through and pull it tight to secure the clip. Roll up any cable you may have and run the rubber band around it so you can attach it to the other end of the paper clip. This will hold the cables in place and let you hook and unhook without having to untangle any rubber bands or cords. With just a slight modification, the same concept from the cable organizer can be applied when fastening paper together. If you don't have any round head fasteners to keep your three ring paper together, improvise by wrapping a rubber band through the end of a paper clip and feeding it through the top hole, then back through the middle ring. Next, just connect the end of the rubber band to the paper clip by putting it through the end clip. Just repeat the process from the other end and you'll be left with a fastened bundle of paper that's picture perfect for any project or presentation. Most tape, especially transparent tape, can be difficult to unstick from itself, making it hard to find the end of the roll. A simple paper clip can be used to make this much easier. After rolling out as much tape as you need, put a paper clip just beyond where you want to make a cut. Now the next time you need more tape, just repeat the process by removing the paper clip, rolling out your tape, and repositioning the paper clip before you cut so it doesn't fall down and stick to the roll ever again. If you're in need of a ring for keys or a dog tag, just straighten out the paper clip into a long wire. Then hold one end carefully against the marker as you slowly wrap the metal wire around it. Once you get near the end, you can use needle nose pliers to manipulate the shape into a circle and form a ring. Depending on the size of your paper clip, you may need to trim off some of the ends to form your rings, but this nifty trick will surely get you out of the ringer. Watch your favorite videos hands-free with this improvised paperclip stand. Start by completely straightening out a large paperclip, then bend the outer thirds on both ends to form a large U-shape. Next, fold both ends of your U-shaped metal in half at 90 degree angles, like this. Now grab a pair of pliers and bend in the tips just a bit. Set your stand up and lay your phone down in place. Just hit play and enjoy your improvised stand. 
There's countless ways to use paper clips, so let us know some of your favorites in the comments. If you enjoyed this, please let us know by hitting that thumbs up button, or even better, subscribe to Household Hacker for new videos every week. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.